This video is brought to you by Manscaped. More about them at the end of the video. Lou Amarillo is getting killed by Islander fans on Twitter, but is his criticism really warranted? And is a Toronto Maple Leafs acquisition of Matt Murray the biggest head-scratcher of the offseason? I'm Mark Williams, and this is Big Apple Hockey's NHL Snipes. Coming soon to a Please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great hockey content and an entertaining interactive podcast. So check us out and our library of videos. All right, Islander fans, it's definitely a frustrating week for you, especially that the team cleared up so much cap space to try to sign a premier free agent. And it looked for a while when the radio silence started happening on Wednesday that Johnny Gaudreau was going to make his home on Long Island. Tell me about Ohio. Instead, it goes into the evening, and the Columbus Blue Jackets swoop in and woo the star away. What? What the fuck? That could be, uh, there could be a myriad of things. You could check out our stream of our reaction on that up here in the corner. But the, the thing about it is what would be the Islanders' pivot? Pivot! Pivot! They didn't go to Andre Pilat as they signed with the New Jersey Devils. But what next does Lou do? Is he calling to go get Vladimir Tarasenko? But then again, is he going to be able to prime away from the St. Louis Blues? The Russian forward has not rescinded his trade request and even said as late as February, they'll try again in the offseason. So he didn't go out and get a different free agent to fill the hole. There's a lot of silence around Nazem Kadri, who is still not signed at all with anyone. I mean, him and Tyler Mott, like what's taking you guys so long? But there's been a lot of silence around him, and we all know that's Lou's tactic. It's infuriating as it is, especially for people who report on the NHL. But... Who knows? Maybe he's bringing in Kadri. However, I do have to say this, Islander fans. This is kind of what we should have expected because Lou doesn't exactly have a history of bringing in big-name free agents to lead his team. The only reason why I'm going against that is it just Lou's philosophy seems to be spreading the wealth, not focusing on one player. Here's a list of all the big-name free agents that have been top four in scoring for any of his teams. And the caveat is they got to be free agent acquisitions. Mike Camilleri, who the Devils ended up buying out after three years. Yarmir Yager, who led the Devils in scoring in 2013-2014. And P.A. Parento, who was second on the Maple Leafs in 2016 in scoring. Who? That doesn't mean it's a bad tactic. Lou likes to draft and trade. That's the way he likes to do those things. I don't know whether or not it's that he doesn't want to deal with contracts, if he doesn't want to overpay for guys, but that could just be Lou. Because even going back to his devil days, he doesn't have big free agents that he brought in. Even going in when he was in Toronto, his biggest free agent signing was Patrick Marlowe. Patrick Marlowe, really? At like age 36. So. Lou referenced hockey trades in his post deadline press conference. That's the way to get better. Something tells me that he's used, he's going to use Beauvillier plus other combinations and try to get Jacob Tricker. And that's the definition of a hockey trade. Good young player for a good young player. Salaries are very similar. Islanders need help on the left side defense. You got to think there's some way that this team is going to improve. They didn't clear all that cap space up for nothing. Look at it this way, Islander fans. Would you rather still be paying Andrew Ladd? Lou hasn't signed a bad contract. That's another way to look at it. The biggest head-scratching moves of the offseason has to be the Maple Leafs getting Matt Murray. It still makes no sense to me. Nope. The former Ottawa Senators goaltender nixed the trade going to the Buffalo Sabres, a division rival, on draft day. 
Instead, he goes to another division rival in the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, with the Maple Leafs, obviously, they're more of a contending team and built better. However, Murray himself hasn't exactly been producing that well since 2018. He had a 906 save percentage in 20 games. But if you look at some of his other stats, he hasn't been above a 906 since 2018. He, his goals against have been in the high twos since, again, 2018. So the goaltender that they got after winning two Stanley Cups is not, that guy is gone. Like, there is no chance of that. But the Maple Leafs took him on with a $4.68 million price tag that was after some salary retention. And I just, I just still don't see it. Even with Ilya Samsonov going up to Toronto, which is a pretty good move because they got him very cheap for one year. Murray hasn't played 39 games since 2019. His save percentage hasn't been above 907 since 2018. And it's it's just a head-scratcher because he's constantly getting injured and you're paying top dollar for him. And the Maple Leafs really need to make sure that they budget well for this season. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe being behind a much better defense will help and Murray will return to form. I'd hope so, because I'm not the only one confused about this move. And just, just look at the Steve Dangle video. It's, that's, that says it all. However, let me give you this list of goalies making less than what Matt Murray is on the books for in Toronto right now. Ilya Sorokin, Marc-Andre Fleury, uh, Freddie Anderson, Carter Hart, Cam Talbot, Tristan Jari, you know, the guy that's still in Pittsburgh, Alexander Georgiev, who's meh, Alex Andelkovic, Karl Vimelka, and Ilya Samsonov, who is his teammate now. So I guess good move, Toronto. Thanks for joining me on another episode of NHL Snipes with Mark Williams. We have a lot more hockey content on this channel, so feel free to take a look around. I, of course, am wearing a little bit of Big Apple hockey on me right now. So, you guys like the shirt? I like the shirt. Uh, Working on getting more of them right now. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all soon. Guys, girls love a man that's well-groomed, so check out Manscaped and their family of products. They have you covered from head to toe, from the lawnmower to the weed whacker, because you don't want to look like a fuzzball. Go to manscaped.com, put in promo code BAH for Big Apple Hockey to get 20% off and free shipping. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.